Hey Tiger football fans, I'm Madison Dildine and we're here at Tiger Memorial Stadium about to go 100 yards with head coach Josh Blankenship. You ready? Let's go. Let's do it. Coach, you're now starting your second season at BA. Mm -hmm. Last season ended with a five game win streak, pulling off the upset against Owasso before falling to Union in the semifinals. What can fans expect out of year two? Hopefully uh, continued momentum. Uh, you know, we feel that way about uh, our off season. You know, it was uh, some enough, enough exciting things that happened last year to really speed up the, the trust in our, in our culture. And, you know, when you kind of develop that trust, then it's you can really elevate the things that you're wanting to do. And so we saw a really good off season. A lot of guys develop. Um, so you're going to see a lot of new faces, but uh, hopefully we continue where we left off. Last week, you played a half game scrimmage at Big Speed against Muskogee. Mm -hmm. Talk to me a little bit about your defense's performance as well as some guys that stood out to you on offense. Uh, defense was really impressive in the sense that we're not trying to show everything that we have right now. It was mainly uh, making sure we were executing our basic stuff, um, you know, not really trying to scheme up that opponent. Um, and Muskogee was a great test for us and I told, us, told our guys that they would be. Um, very athletic, very talented group. They don't have the depth and the numbers that we have, so maybe a four-quarter game, uh, you know, we probably would have separated. Um, but two quarters was an awesome test for us, and I was really pleased with our defensive guys. You talk a lot about leadership. How do you get your guys to buy into the culture that you and your staff are building? You know, that just takes time. Uh, you know, it's like I mentioned, trust. Uh, trust is so critical, and um, if our staff and our guys are consistent in our messaging and, and our love for these guys, uh, that trust, you know, expands. Um, and when you when you have that, then you're able to elevate some of your leaders, give them more authority, empower them, uh, lean on them more, uh, so you know what's going on behind the scenes, and then they can also be a voice for what you're trying to emphasize with the whole group. On that note, who have you seen leadership from so far? Dietrich Moore. Um, you would hope, you know, with the type of player that he is, you know, he's he needs to have a voice on the team. Uh, he's certainly earned that, done a great job there. Uh, Jalen Franklin, one of our corners. Uh, Austin Newell, uh, Josh Wilhite, um, uh, Briley Ferguson. Um, we, I mean, and I could go on and on and on. Younger guys, uh, Donovan Hardaway is a junior. Uh, he's going to be a great captain for us next year. Uh, so we've really seen leadership develop. Friday night, you'll kick off the season at Bentonville High School. Yep. What can we expect to see? We're very familiar with those guys. Uh, you know, we've seen them in team camps. Um, so they're a lot like us. Uh, they got some big boys and a lot of talent, uh, and it'll be a great test for us. Last but not least, how was your summer? Busy, did we have a summer? <laughs> no, it was great. Uh, we, we fit in some good vacation and uh, uh, some time with the family and then also we, we were able to get a lot of work done with the team, so it was great. That's good. That was 100 yards with head coach Josh Blankenship. The Tigers kick off their season Friday night at Bentonville High School. Kickoff is set for seven on AeroVision.